In another NCA 13 tips breakdown, we talked about getting pressure from the 3-4 over sting pinch zone. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about how to get pressure from the 3-4 over sting pinch with the same type of setup. So let's go ahead and take a look at the pass coverages and pass rush assignments. As you look at it, you can wind up seeing this one's one of those defenses where we don't have any deep defenders playing anywhere as far as the deep areas of the field. So what we wind up having with this zone, because of that reason, what we're looking here is to get inside pressure from the right inside linebacker, but we have to get it quick because, as I said before, since we don't have any deep defenders playing any deep zone coverages, we have to make sure we get there really quickly. So let's go ahead and go through the uh, setup here. Before we do that, let's take a look at those pass coverages and pass rush assignments. And as you look at it, we got these five defenders that are going to wind up being in man coverage. So you see those are the five defenders that are in man coverage. And then we wind up having six defenders rushing the quarterback. As you look at your screen, you can see those are the six defenders. Now, as I said before, we can get that same type of pressure as we've shown with the sting pinch zone by doing the exact same setup. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and pinch the defensive line. We're going to go ahead and take control of the right outside linebacker. Go ahead and bring him inside. Go ahead and re-hot route him to blitz so his blitz angle is shooting straight up. Should be shooting towards the left tackle. Then we're going to go ahead and take control of the nose tackle. And then we're going to go ahead and re-hot route him to blitz so his blitz angle is shooting straight up. Now, the other thing we can go ahead and do for this one, we're going to go ahead and call bump and run man coverage. You can call that before or you can call it after. It doesn't matter. But just make sure you go ahead and call it. And what that's going to wind up doing is hopefully jamming a few of these receivers at the line of scrimmage. The thing about this particular formation, as far as on the offensive side of the ball, since it's a compressed formation, generally you're not going to wind up getting these guys jammed. So you got these two receivers right here lined up tighter inside. And if you look at it where the two corners are lined up, they're lined up to the outside you're really not going to wind up jamming these guys as far as with this particular um, offensive formation. But just keep that in mind, if they're running in the I-form pro or a strong pro or even an ace big or something like that, then you could get those guys jammed. All right, let's go ahead and run this. Now, as far as on the offensive side of the ball, what we wind up having, as you look at it, we wind up having all five of the receivers going out as far as on pass routes. So just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and run this. As you watch it, we wind up getting that same inside pressure that we wind up doing as far as with the 3-4 over sting pinch zone where we wind up getting the right inside linebacker in there really quickly. Actually, in this particular video, as you watched it, you would have noticed that the, uh, the quarterback was actually able to shake him off, but we still wind up getting another guy in there as far as getting the pressure. But you can see that winds up coming through that A gap right there as far as with the, the right inside linebacker. And it's the same thing before as we talked about, as we pointed out earlier in the other defense that we showed here out of the 3-4 over sting pinch zone that we showed earlier, we still wind up getting that same blocking as far as what this goes. You wind up getting the left tackle. He winds up blocking the right outside linebacker. The left guard winds up blocking the right end. And then we wind up getting the center. He's going to wind up blocking the nose tackle. And then we wind up having the right guard block the left end. And then finally we have this guy out here, which is the right tackle blocking the left outside linebacker. So you still wind up getting that same type of blocking with this particular setup because it is the same setup as before, shown before. And you want to be in that same block. And the downside, as I said before, you don't really get these outside receivers jammed against this compressed formation that we're showing here. But you do wind up having some decent pass coverages as long as you can get home pretty quickly. Just keep in mind, you got all five receivers covered. The problem is you've got to hope that one of these guys, as far as that right inside linebacker, is able to get that pressure. Because if he doesn't, then there's an opportunity where he may wind up being able to hit someone deep. As you look at your screen right now, this guy right here possibly could be open for a big-time play if he's able to get it over there. So there's definitely some downsides anytime you run these cover zero-type blitzes, such as the 3-4 oversting pinch. Just keep that in mind anytime you run them. So that's it right there as far as with the setup. This one's called 3-4 oversting pinch. And just in case you guys are wondering, right now I'm going to be rooting for Notre Dame, a big-time Notre Dame fan, at least over the years I have been. Uh, they're not too far away from where I live at personally, but – Again, this is a blitz I wanted to show, and we'll continue to start, show some more blitzes and some offensive passing plays and other offensive plays up before the BCS title game comes here on January 7th. So let's go ahead and hop out of here. Thanks again for watching the video.